release fear. Very important right now for you to stop being afraid. You're not going into this relationship 100%. You're putting a lot of fear into it that you're afraid to approach this person. You're afraid to ask this person something, something that's on your mind. You're afraid to express it, but there is some type of fear there that's preventing you from being your authentic self. Um, and this person seems to be afraid too. So maybe she seems like she's not approaching you because she's afraid or he feels like he's afraid. Whatever the case may be, it all starts from the fear that's inside of you because it's kind of like contagious. You know, when someone brings fright and doubt and negativity, automatically it's kind of like adapted and you feel it and you uh, kind of like absorb it. So then you end up feeling like, oh my gosh, this is going to happen. You know, so fear is contagious. So there's something there that's inside of you that you need to release and you may not know what that is. Maybe there's something you need to say to this person. I feel like this is a direct message. Create boundaries. Say what you mean. Now, maybe this person is in a relationship with you and they're in another relationship. Maybe there's another relationship outside that it's time for you to create boundaries. You've been kind of like going with the flow, trying to avoid um, too much comp uh, conversation about it. Um, yeah, it's a very sticky situation when there's a third party involved, but it's time to create boundaries. I'm not saying you need to break up with this person or you need to change it to the, the course of your direction. Um, it's mainly what you are feeling in your heart, not something that you need to create, something you need to say, creating boundaries. Maybe that's part of the fear. You know, when you have fear, you're afraid to create the boundaries. Um, you know, maybe this person is taking advantage of you um, and you need to say something. If you're not saying it because you're afraid, well, then you're the one that's afraid. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to say what you feel in your heart. I know he's talk about, oh, you know, retrogrades that are happening and it could create negativity. But no, this is something that's been inside of you that you need to, you need to express it. Because if you don't, you're going to constantly be toyed with the fact that you didn't say anything relieve anxiety now there's a reason why you have anxiety or there's a reason why they have anxiety this is not something that you have to um heal deal with and you're healing from it so anxiety is an emotion we all get some form of an anxiety it's not because um some people are more calm no i get anxiety everybody gets a lot of people i know get anxiety um, you know, you just automatically, you just feel anxious. You just feel like this energy. And sometimes it triggers off. It triggers off a lot of negative energy from your past that maybe you did have actual full-blown anxiety about a situation. Something did happen and you've healed from it. You've let it go. You stopped, you know, worrying about it. But it's time to experience rebirth. When you experience rebirth, that means one thing. Rebirth. Starting over again starting a new page um, in your chapter on your in your life and your storybook your life is a book okay and it's a new chapter if you don't focus on what what is to come it's always going to feel like you're at a standstill so it's time to just you know let things happen naturally and you know let the let the the changes go on whatever that may be give it to god give it to the universe however you take it just release the anxiety um, and release the fear. It's a lot of releasing in these cards. We're seeing a lot of um, letting go and, you know, stop the past from approaching the present because that's mainly what's happening here. Focus on higher truth. I love this card. It's telling you, focus on your inner self. Yeah, your inner self is not um, saying, oh, I need to get this person to see me and this person to know me because... They're not seeing the true me. No, not necessarily. Um, it's the way you present yourself. It's the way you um, act and it's the way you feel. If you're feeling like you're not saying what you need to say to this person, then obviously you're holding back something and you need to let it go. Ground yourself. Ground yourself to the point where you feel more like you. Grounding yourself. Now you can tr try a lot of things. Meditation. I like meditation because it takes away whatever external layer, you know, whatever you got going on, you know, outside, 
it kind of like heals it and whatever you got from the inside it brings it out it, it makes you feel more like yourself it kind of like gives you a sense of um a direct a direct pipeline to you know your um your inner truth and to your higher self so that you can feel like yourself because if you're not in a relationship that you're truly yourself you may not be the person that you think you are and they may see a complete different person because you feel a little awkward you need to just reveal that part of yourself and go with the flow do what you need to do if that person is with someone you know and if you know that this person isn't you know like somebody that's meant for them then maybe you should tell them you know maybe you've been on the sidelines not saying anything because you don't want to lose them but though you know something is up you know like there's a lot of different um ways to look at it um these are messages brought through me to you and just take what resonates with you everybody's different um, and leave what doesn't resonate with you and if you'd like to get your own personalized reading i do offer phone chat and email readings the links are down below in the description area. Also, I have blog articles and other videos that you're more than welcome to check out. So um, I just wanted to say to you guys, thank you all so much for just being there and, you know, just reaching out to me. I really appreciate it. And I do have a lot of spammers that, that, like, that like mimic my account. In my description, I do have other accounts and I do list them. So if you're ever wondering, is this Anne? you know, telling me something, please, you know, let me know or go to my one of my posts and, you know, there's nothing I can do to like, you know, chase them away. I tried YouTube, um, well, not YouTube, but Instagram, I should say Instagram. There's no way to get them off. It's just the way it is. And there's a way to get verified. So I'm looking into that. So hopefully that'll work. So until next time, God be with you all. Namaste.